Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Napoleon Total War here today on the channel. We're back with episode 4 of my Darth modded campaign playing as the French Empire. We're playing as Napoleon here today. We've got a really good matchup. We have Bernadotte attacking Arthur Duke Welsler, who is currently hanging out yeah, just outside of Hanover. So Bernadotte, the future crown prince of Sweden, is going to attack him for the Battle of Oldenburg in 1805. We outnumber him slightly. They do have artillery supremacy, while we have infantry and cavalry, I would say. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Let me know in the comments, feedback, and suggestions for the series, and we'd like me to expand and conquer. In the last couple of episodes, we've had a lot of good battles against various factions. It's like nearly been a brand new faction and episode, which has been really cool. There's so much rugged terrain here. Hang on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to deploy them there. Why is that? <laughs> There's a bunch of rocks on that side there. Imagine if you could somehow, like, funnel them in there and shoot down. That'd be a really, like, <laughs> crazy skirmish ambush there. Yeah, so in the, la in the first episode, uh, we managed to play against the Russians, uh, Austrians and Prussians. In the second episode, we had a massive battle against the Prussians. In the third, we played against the Russians. And now, we're facing the British. I think what happened is that Arthur Duke Wellesley under the command from King George, uh, sent him to the Netherlands. And he sort of got thrown back a bit and lost a bit of his army, and now he's sort of fled to Hanover. It's like, well, Arthur, you haven't, you haven't taken the Netherlands. Can you take my old home of Hanover, please? And he's like, yeah, I guess I'll have a crack. And then he's ran into Bernadotte here, keen to earn his stripes... And if we're lucky, if we can win a couple of battles here, we might just give Sweden to Bernadotte. How does that sound? But the crazy thing about Bernadotte is that the house of Bernadotte to this day sits upon the Swedish throne. So, we're going to have to rush our cavalry up here against Arthur. Because we don't want that artillery to hit me with impunity. We'll slightly overlap our infantry there. Move to here. Perfect. So Bernadotte is here in Hanover. Uh, we have Massena, uh, Joachim Marat, uh, Napoleon, and uh, the Iron Marshal Davout are currently from basically spread out from Berlin, which we've taken, Prague, and Saxony. We've been trying to consolidate, basically, German territory. We've been having p short pieces and, and alliances and trade back and forth between the Prussians and Austrians. Here are some Highland infantry here. But our first battle against the British will take place in Hanover, on the continent. So, the AI for Britain is a little bit aggressive. They don't, they don't mind moving forces onto the continent. But I didn't want to rush them straight away. Uh, but we'll sort of... Maybe we'll have to... De depending. We'll see how we go. I think we should focus on trying to beat Austria and Prussian first. Then Russia. And then whoever sort of comes up against us. I think I might try and make an, an alliance with the Ottomans soon. They form square there, so that's not working too well. We've managed to rush them quite well here. A lot of... The trees and forests there have blocked their line of sight slightly. We'll try and get in behind with my lances here now. You know what? I actually might be better off to flank with my infantry, but maybe we should just get them all to attach bayonets. Yeah, that's definitely the play. Because if I get them to shoot firing, there's going to be too much friendly fire. That's the major problem when you play in this gunpowder era, either Napoleon or Empire. You, want, you, you need to watch out for friendly fire. But the British are not holding on too well. Now, Arthur Duke Wellesley, you can't actually 
uh, kill him in this campaign. You can wound him. We're going to be able to send him back to London and destroy his army. But he's going to get some bad traits if we keep on beating him in battle. We should be good. But so far, the French Empire and French forces are uh, slowly but surely weakening the coalition's military might. So we've wounded Arthur Wellesley here. And we've sent him back to London. Okay, move Bernadotte here. Make sure our infantry is just surrounding and hitting. Yeah, so we're not going to get a fiery fury of muskets today. We're just better off to sort of charge, get stuck in with our numerical supremacy. And bring them down. So, yeah, the Dutch weakened them and now we've come in to finish off the last of Wellesley's army, or George III, however. I wanted to give them Hanover for peace, but they weren't really interested, the British. But now, the Duke's army, the Duke of Wellington, his army is in a full retreat. Okay, let's just try and run down as many of them as we can and speed things up. Because we might, yeah, depending if we don't catch them all, we might have to run down and, and attack them again. Uh, but how are the British overall like doing it? They lost Gibraltar. That's fallen to Spanish rebels. They've lost the rock and a massive choke point there. So we can freely move ships if we want to from Provence, Mosse. Sir, to Brittany sir, with the main French attack. Navy is just docked. I haven't even risked the French Navy against the might and brilliance of Britain's fiscal Navy capacity. Try and get him. <laughs> There's only two men left in that poor Highland unit. Get your target practice, boys. Let's bring him down. Not the best shot. Are they shoot? Oh, there's a couple left, so maybe they're not shooting at that guy. I was going to say, how are you guys all missing? <laughs> Those French skirmishers acting a little bit like stormtroopers. They're missing their shots wildly. But a close victory. We'll take that. But I wouldn't mind betraying Spain at some point. For now, they're my allies. But... Going after Spain and eventually Portugal. Britain's oldest ally could be the play. Same with Italy as well. Italy is our puppets, but the Papal States don't like me. They ended up excommunicating Napoleon at one point. Um, but I wouldn't mind Naples as well. Okay, still working towards our objectives. Here's the prestige as well, by the way. We're currently got the highest military. Austria... Russia and, and Russia all combined is quite high. Um, however, the Ottomans are, are quite up there as well. My government popularity is 77%. Napoleon is 36 And still quite a fantastic commander. Uh, we have Magdeburg now. So we have two universities researching. So, Württemberg has attacked Munich because... I did give Munich to the Austrians for peace. So I can sort of focus on one or the other. Like, we've got to focus on Prussia or Austria. We, fighting two of them, it's just completely back and forth. So I'm going to negotiate with Salim the First. Is that Salim the Magnificent? I can't remember. Potentially. Maybe he's... No, he's a bit later on, isn't he? I think. Anyway... We want to try and get an alliance with the Ottomans. We want peace with the UK, which isn't going to work. And does, the Russians are not interested either. Sweden, Sicily, and Naples. We haven't managed to fight them at all. Now, I want to secure my position here. Now, I'm going to make alliances. Because I feel like... Because I've been having, like, peace for five or so turns. Then war back and forth constantly. What I need to do, I think, is essentially create a 
an appearance of military mass. You know what I mean? Like we want to try and make a an alliance block. So I, I'm literally just going through here. I'm going to try and get as much money as I can and just make alliances with all these smaller factions. I don't really like care about them too much. I just want military alliances. So if I attack someone or get attacked, they're going to come in. So hopefully that can just ensure my position and it actually ups my strength rank ranking when the other factions look at me. Uh, back to Sweden as well. Sicily nor Naples want peace, I would imagine, yeah. Like Austria and Prussia are open because we're beating them a lot, we're pummeling them down, but the others not so much. Uh, do they want trade? Would you break your alliance with like Austria or something? That could work. <laughs> break with the whole three. No, nah, they're not interested. Maybe just trade then and break. Uh, with Austria, how about that? What? Yeah, so that should plumb all their reliability rating, but I don't think it works like that in Napoleon. Like, that's a later thing they added in... Attila. And Rome too. Uh... Break trade agreement with Austria. Tech and... Oh, we've just made an alliance with them. They are allies with Württemberg and Sweden. I'm going to accept that because I don't want the Austrians to break the alliance so quickly. Join war against Austria. No, I don't want to go to Austria to war with them just yet, Spain. Even though you're going to give me those islands, which are probably going to expose me. Oh, hang on. What was that? Khan under attack. Hang on. I, I accidentally unclicked it. Yeah. What's this? Uh, the British have moved a full stack to Khan in Normandy. Well, luckily we've got Michel Ney uh, to deal with it. Oh, so the British, even though it's taken four episodes, what, 30 turns? They're starting to hit us. Uh, Arthur Duke Wellesley's now come up with another army. We'll send him back into the sea from whence he came. Well, that's annoying. I would have played that battle if I knew there was going to be another attack by the Duke here today. Okay, it's time to redeclare war upon the Austrians. A lot of their famed generals are inside, but we've got Napoleon here. We have uh, Davu, and we've also got Massena with three full stacks. We have Yokimira in Dresden, and we have Bernadette in Brandenburg. We've also got a full stack uh, dealing with the British. So we're going to redeclare war upon the Austrians, while the other two stay in the north to defend, because I have a feeling every time I declare war upon a faction, they tend to... Um, like, if I, tell, if I attack Aust If I commit my forces against Austria, the Prussians come in behind. If I... Oh, we're at war with the Prussians. Are you kidding me? I was about to go to war with the Austrians, man. Oh, that's so infuriating. They see me move my forces off the border, and now I'm dealing... Oh, my God. Okay, so we're not going to war with the Austrians. We're already down there, though, so I don't know if it's worth. Oh, it's just so annoying, this war. No, but Württemberg is there. Nation joins your enemy, Prussia. Yeah. New nation arises, Wallachia. That's kind of cool. Right. Well, um... How can I work this out? I could just go to war with Austria again. Maybe just join a war. Because Württemberg has an army nearby. Uh, it's just so back and forth. Um, yeah, Spain offered me to attack them, didn't they? <laughs> Maybe for some tech, actually, might be more beneficial than that province. Because we could lose that province quite quickly. Can you give me all that tech? Yeah, they accepted, I think. Yeah, they did. Yeah, good. That saved us probably 20 turns worth of tech. Anyway, so we'll move Napoleon to Munich to retake it. Württemberg is here to help out. So we'll auto resolve that one with the help of Württemberg forces. And we'll reoccupy the city of Munich back into French occupation. And I guess, yeah. Right, so 
What's happening over in Vienna? Okay, they're holding a lot of forces there. So, we'll send... Uh, General Davout. First. I think he's my highest ranking commander now. Oh, Masena is quite up there as well. So, Marshal Davout and Masena can push to Vienna. And we'll probably try and siege that out here today. Unless they want peace for a little while. Would they accept? No. Okay. That's fair enough. Right. Back in the north. We've got Prussian forces pushing to Berlin to try and recapture their territory. We could send Bernadotte out. He can win that, I think. Uh, maybe not. We might need to retreat. We might need Yokimira to push up and help. Like, if I get Yokimira to attack it... Yes, that's a lot more favorable than I'd like. Good. We can throw the Prussians back there. Move back to Dresden. Now, how about the Prussians? Do they want peace now? No. Okay. Well, damn it. Right. Back down to the Austrians now. They've got a full stack down in Vienna. Napoleon can move to Innsbruck because I can't afford that to be lost. Württemberg are moving an army north to Prague. Andreas Hofer... Um, is moving out of Venice. Prussia has moved up two armies. One sieging Berlin. The other's near Dresden. We can send Yokimura to hit this reinforcing army. He should be able to win that against Ludwig. And he has. Yokimura has won a really good victory here. And we can move him further, down, uh, further, further around to lift the siege of Berlin. And Bernadotte has won it as well. So we've won against the Prussians here in the north. Now do they want peace? Crikey. Good. Right. Do you want trade? For tech, maybe? Yeah, for a payment, we'll take that. It's so back and forth, this campaign. We've already played a lot of battles against the Prussians. I will play more eventually, but I just feel like auto-resolving. Those ones we fought around Berlin and Dresden way too much. Okay, let's move to Vienna now with Masena and Davu. We'll siege it out and we'll... we'll depending on how... How is it? Oh, there's another reinforcing army there. Yeah, I think we'll play this one. Because this is like make or break for the Austrians. If we can take their capital, Vienna, we should be able to cement our rule over the Austrians. And that's a big one as well. Crikey, that's nearly a 10,000 man battle. No, 20. Yeah, that's going to be a 20,000 man battle. Alright, well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching episode 4 of my Napoleon Total War Darth Mod version 2.6 French campaign. We've got a massive episode coming out soon. Episode 5, where Louis Nicolas Davout, with 4,600 men, with four units of cavalry, four units of artillery, the rest made up of infantry, and Marshal Massina, with an additional 5,756 faces off against 5,536 Austrians and a reinforcing army of 4,280. Crikey. We should be able to maybe finish off the Austrians in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Leave it on the comments, feedback, and suggestions as always. Uh, we'd like me to expand and conquer. So far, I think just it's just back and forth, pushing against the Prussians and Austrians. Um, I think after this, we'll push against the Russians, and we are going to be still battling with Britain, the United Kingdom, on the coast there as well. But thanks for watching. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code Simpsy Total War on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well.
But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Goodbye.